everybody, and welcome to a special season five of Red Letter Disciple. My name's Zach Zender as a finger puppet, and I can't wait. What? What is happening here? Finger puppets are taking over the Red Letter Disciple. It's it's Chris's new invention. He's going to sell thousands of finger puppets. <laughs> Hey, get the, get I don't out know here. about that. Get Ladies and gentlemen, here. no, we do have good news and exciting news. And here it is. Yeah. Are you ready? I didn't hear him say anything. Are they ready? Yeah. We're we are ready. back. That's the news. We're back. It's season five. One, two, three, four. That's right. Cinco. Five of for... the Red Letter Disciple. And I can't wait for what's coming in season five, Man, Chris. No you know, we have a season of firsts we this do. time. Yeah. Uh, we have the first two-time guest in the history of Red Letter Disciple. You know him. You love him. That's right. Flame. And Flame has written a new book. I have been chewing this thing up called Extra Nose. Yeah. I, can you believe we actually had a guest return? No, I'm surprised. How much did you pay him? <laughs> I don't, I don't want to talk about that. Oh, okay. No, we don't pay him anything. Flame oh, okay. is coming for free. What a great thing. We got other firsts this year. That's right. Chris, you're actually getting interviewed by me. You know, and all joking aside, this what? is my true story. <laughs> uh, and parts of it are incredibly painful. But I'm hoping that you will see how God has worked through a lot of people in my life yeah. to get me to this point. No, it's a powerful story. And I'm excited that our listeners can actually hear the backstory of who is Chris Johnson. Yeah. This, this guy that invents finger puppets and robots and <laughs> just is crazy and has a lot of fun. We got more first. Hey, how about this? It's We have our first like mini series in a season. We've got four episodes. They're going to come out boom, 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 boom at some point in the season That's all right. around Gen Z. Oh my goodness. And how in the world we can help raise up this next generation uh, Gen Z to be the greatest disciples. So we've got a couple of them that are Gen Z leaders that are young leaders that are helping leaders. And then we've got some Gen Z experts like Stephen Robertson wrote a book called Aliens Among Us, going to tell us <laughs> truths about this next generation that we maybe maybe don't know and, and help us. I, I really hope what happens is that those of us who are older, which I, I don't know if you know, I'm not Gen Z. No, I know. I know. Did you know I, that? I, no, I thought you were um, baby boomer. Are you oh, doing? no. Anyway, uh, but I'm hoping that what happens is that we build and grow in our empathy for this generation and realize and recognize how important they are for the future. Well, what we what nation. we realized is that even if we aren't, they're going to do it anyway. <laughs> exactly. So like either come alongside yeah, let's or get with them. let's go. Let's get with them. So we've got a great, great season. I'm Love excited. It. I'm launching a new book called Serving Challenge. So I'm going to tell you all about how Jesus served and what we can learn from Jesus so that we can be the greatest servants we can possibly be. Because when we serve, here's what happens. We win. Others win. Community wins. Everybody wins. Church Finger wins. puppets it's win. It's awesome. Can't wait to do that. What else yeah, are you looking uh, forward so, to this year, sir? So I have, um, just so you know, I created some things for this season. You did. I am, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm envious or jealous of your success in the red letter field, but I want to kind of. You've told me that before you are. I am in, extremely uh, <laughs> jealous. So I've created some Christian inventions and I pitch it to our friends at um, Advent Blocks, Clayton Green, Clayton and Green. Advent Blocks. I, I pitch it. You pitch your ideas. Yeah, and I think that he's going to bite on a couple. Uh, it's not necessarily what I heard, but maybe the listeners can figure it out for mm -hmm. themselves. But hey, season five is coming. It's coming next week. And so everybody right now, subscribe. Yeah. Follow yeah. on your favorite streaming platform so that you automatically get it. Season five is brought to you by Red Letter Living, the company that I love, the chance that I get to run and, and create resources that help people become every day greater disciples of Jesus, whether that's 40 day challenges, whether that's podcast, whether that's other free resources, we got you covered. We want to see more and more people become the true, the greatest, the freshest expression of Jesus that the world needs to see. Speaking of fresh, it's also brought to you by Pastor Chris, uh, Testaments, Testaments, um, you, Tic Tacs are for pagans, Testaments. <laughs> Get it at your local, like, Casey store or wherever you buy gum and mints or those kind of products. Huh. Testaments. Okay. Well, I don't know. You don't I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a lot of things, but we know you're going to have a great time. Come on back with us next week. It's rolling out the Red Letter Disciples Season 5. We'll see you then. Woo!